So most of you probably already know the drill when it comes to dating online. Getting to know girls or guys, swiping left and right, staring at the profile to see if she's the right one or not. And more than probably, maybe you already know what to watch out for and what to do when things don't go the way you want it. But let me just clarify it to you one more time. I know that there's tons of videos out there talking about the different types of scums that you'll encounter when dating online. I mean, it's not just about online too, because I am pretty sure that you will meet scammers on a face-to-face -face basis. But before I continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So anyways, my topic for today is dating online. Is it a business or love? Now, listen, I am not applying this to everybody because in every thousand disasters, I know that there's a hundred relationships that's, that have been successful. So as we all know, nowadays, Dating online has become the main way to meet someone. And as we progress in our technology, we as human beings advance too. The way we meet our desires has evolved and is continuing to evolve. The means of meeting the love of our life depends on how you swipe left or right. We use different pl online platforms to meet up different applications to hook up, and so on and so forth. But we do have to admit it, technology does make our lives better. And I think for most Filipinas, it is a God-sent technology that can turn their lives around. It is, of course, a smartphone, or should we call my guy phone? Because <laughs> that's where we have all our guys. Seriously though, it is a godsend for most Filipinas. The miracle phone where we can download apps to find love, to hook up, to navigate, to organize, and most importantly, to shake our cute booty online and make the guys go nuts over us. The Filipino will start slowly and then as time goes, get more advanced. Some will have multiple Facebook pages for the different groups of people in her life. She will soon start lurking on online dating, setting up profiles in many different apps. The attention they will get can be overwhelming for some and lead to bad outcomes for others they're able to handle it in grown-up way. And no matter, some of them will now be looking for a foreigner because we have all he heard from our young days how wonderful you all are. <laughs> and she will soon be grasping at it all, trying to catch someone. And you, as a foreigner, will soon be captured by her beauty and youth. And soon, you will start talking to her, trying to get her attention maybe, and even trying to prove to her that you are the right one, even though you don't know her true intentions. You start flaunting all the things that you have and trying your best just to be with her. I mean, Especially right now that we are facing a pandemic, we become desperate to be with someone. And by being desperate, I mean, we do all the things that we need to do, even if it means danger. Even though we know that there's trouble in paradise, we still push our luck. And I can truly understand the desperate move you have. Because right now, we are all tired of being alone and lonely. We're tired of waiting to open up. I mean, I am too. So now 
I am going to discuss the different scams that the Filipinas and other girls use on the online platform. First off, we got the emergency scam. So the reason why I chose this one to be the first is because of scam. This type of scam is very common and I am pretty sure that you already experience it. But anyways, let's me let me go through all the all of it again. So this type of scam is all about quick decisions. This way, um, you don't have time to think about her request, any type of emergency is included. But the most common is the family emergency. She might suddenly call you and tell you that one of her family member is in the hospital. And this could be due to any accident or healthcare issues and that they need money for operation, medicine or other expen expenses. So basically, without the money, something bad will happen. Usually, this is accompanied by tears and emotional manipulation. Other emergencies include roof has been blown off, motorbike is broken and can't go to work, therefore no food, and etc. If she is pulling this on you, you can almost guarantee she is pulling it on another 10 different guys. The better scammers will wait a while, maybe a month or two, and sometimes longer before pulling the emergency scam. And they want to build trust and they want you emotionally attached to them. And she's witty enough to understand that you already know how to avoid these types of scams in case you experience it and she knows not to ask too early. She'll maybe use her feminine face and body to lure you and to make sure that you are attracted to her and um, she will use time to build your trust. So better be wise and careful when it comes to that one. Because when we talk about our emotion, that is where our weakness lies. And when you are emotionally attached to someone you tend to trust them and um, you will never notice the red flags waving in front of you. So I have a um, second one, which is the quick and easy scam. So this scam can be a short term or long term scam. Uh, in this, the woman will slowly ask for money for loads so she can talk to you and even do a video call and she will keep on asking you for money to buy a load and when she is done or tired giving out the same reason she will probably know that you slowly notice her way of asking for money so she will change her money to buy load reason into my camera phone is not working or i need a new phone because i'm just using my cousin's phone the moment that she asks you for money for her phone, you should know by now that she's coming you. And before you know it, all the, all the money that you spent on her for her load is already amounting to thousands of pesos or so. And um, lastly, we have the blackmail scums. This is indeed a dangerous one and becoming more common in these pandemic times. So this one involves again, a woman building trust and knowing that you are in a bad situation, meaning lonely will tempt you with some online naked fun with you and her. You think to yourself, oh yeah, why not? Because this is ex exactly how she gets you into her blackmail web. Remember, by now, you are probably friends on Facebook and she made, she has made a note of all your friends and family. So once you have had fun with her online, she has video and pictures she can send to your family and friends. And she knows you will do anything for that not to happen. So she will blackmail you at the start 
it will be relatively small amount then it will grow and every time you send money she will promise you it will be the last but it will never be the last and she will keep pushing and if you don't comply pictures and videos will be sent to your friend and family so there you have it um, there are so many scams that you will probably experience online and um, i'm just stating the obvious one because some of you have been asking about it one thing that i'm going to say i mean i keep on telling you this one already i always said that always listen to your gut because our gut feelings pick up body and facial expressions that our conscious brain does not understand so when you feel something is not quite right about her confront her i know that she's just going to give you tons of reason but look at her actions her body language as she says things and you will not know it when she is lying to you or not but you also have to remember that there's also girls online who are looking for a serious relationship and who are willing to be with you and wanting to marry you but you gotta keep looking because they're very rare to find and um, if you find one then don't lose her and that's because it's your loss if something happens thank you and um, see you in the next one